All right, let's get to this one. This is uh, leaked footage exposing the Young Turks. Okay, so this is not... Well, I'm going to play this section first. Okay, so first off, I want to say, this is Hunter Avalon, as far as I know. This guy's... Uh, I, don't, I don't know necessarily I call him a conservative, even. He is definitely not a big fan of SJW what type stuff. Really, he's going against social like social authoritarianism. But when I say that, that's my phraseology. I, I, I distinguish what I see as SJW from social authoritarianism, and uh, and the Young Turks are definitely in the social authoritarian class. So he's going after the right group as as far as going after social authoritarians. But I, I want to make a note of the tactic that he is using, and it's a tactic that's often used by others. And I'm going to offer critique of this tactic, and I'm not critiquing. Hunter, uh, I might be wrong about my assumption, so I want to make sure that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not sending any hate your way, my friend. Just a, hopefully a healthy, constructive critique of, of this tactic that is used a lot by people who go after quote-unquote SJWs. A certain clip appears to have flown under the radar. In 2016, Chank, along with Piker, hosted a panel discussing hooking up with women. This panel is only available for paying subscribers, which is probably why these clips didn't get much exposure. In these clips, not only do we see these grown men fist bumping about hooking up with girls, we witness Chank proudly admitting to pursuing a sexual relationship with a 19-year-old girl when he was 28 years old. And uh, it was, and it was, I think it was from yeah New York to to Miami, and um, and then uh, I got up, a couple more jokes. Hey, uh, you know, let me get your number. I'll, I'll if you're in Miami, I'll call you, right? And later I asked her, why did you agree to go out with me? Like you, so I, I was 27, 28. I was 28. She was 19. Okay, wow. and Ooh, well, I know she was about dabs, to turn 20. Dabs. Okay, she was about to turn 20. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and uh, all in all, the Young Turks do not appear to be everything they claim to be. They're okay. All right. I, I, I see how this tactic basically this is this is actually one of the rules. Uh, Linsky's rules for radicals. I forget which rule number this is, but this is, you know, hold them, hold them, hold them accountable by their own rules. And I want to say, in general, that's a good rule. But I want to say that, uh, in this case, I am suggesting to those that want to effectively fight social authoritarianism that the hold them accountable by their own rules might get... You have to think of your tactics. I mean, the the, the hold them accountable by their own rules is doesn't exist in a void. It's got to be... There's got to be other factors considered when you decide whether to use that tactic or not. And I would argue that in this instance, it would not be good for you to hold them accountable by their own rules because they dominate the bullhorns. And what that means is most of the most socially, culturally relevant voices are commanded by the social authoritarians on the main. So if you are going to hold them accountable by their own rules, the best that you're going to get if you're trying to reach, I mean, are you trying to reach the people in the social authoritarian camp? The best that you're going to get is possibly some outrage at Chank by some social authoritarians. But on the other side, for all of your audience members, your conservatives, your non-social authoritarians, what you are doing to them unintentionally is conditioning them to think in the parameters of the social authoritarian and to actually become more social authoritarian themselves as a result of what you're doing. And so that, for that reason, I say this is not the time to hold them accountable by their own standards. This is a time to hold them accountable by your standards. 
boots. You have to claim the ground. You have to reclaim the courtroom and and the rules of engagement in that courtroom. And you're not going to do it by participating in the social authoritarians. I'll say, I'll use this in quotes, and I mean within their framework, legal structures. Like if you go to the American judicial system, there's there's language and phraseologies that are very particular and structures and methodologies and sequences and all kinds of stuff that emerges within the logic of the uh, particular parameters of the American judicial system. And conservatives have their particular parameters uh, for their own type of legal adjudication, if you will. And uh, so do social authoritarians and... Uh, the conservatives have chosen to acknowledge and legitimize the social authoritarian codes. 